Levers are easy to make. Just do this. There's also the analog lever from Create, which is actually really handy. It's a stick on top of an andesite casing. And this, uh, yeah, analog levers make for a compact and precise source of redstone power. Keyword, precise. Right click to increase the power output. Sneak right click to decrease it. Yeah. That is a, a that is a very good way. Uh, that's a very good way to get, uh, give you a precise redstone signal. Like create uh, create adds a bunch of uh, uh create adds a bunch of like redstone stuff as well. Which well a uh, powered toggle latch. Oh wait, what? Toggle? There's a toggle latch from Project Red, but then there's the powered toggle latch from Create, which seems easier to make. Redstone controllable lever. Yeah, okay, that's a so I don't need the toggle latch from Project Red if I if I need a toggle latch. I could just I could just do power toggle latch from create. Because of course. Of course. But you know, whatever. It's fine. Oh, I need a I need a flux point on this. Oh crap. Flux point. Yeah, I need a flux point on the external heater. But uh hold on. Uh furnace. I need the furnace engine and the flywheel in order to be able to do this. Which both require mechanical crafters. So we're going to need to get mechanical crafters going. Let's see, mechanical crafter. Oh, that's easy. Okay, so electron tube, cog wheels, brass casing, crafting table. All right. So I'm going gonna, uh, I'm gonna to want to get like seven crafting tables. Because I, I am eventually going to need 21 of these uh, crafters uh, to make crushing wheels. So we won't worry about that for right now. But for uh, but for the moment, let's see. Mechanical crafter. So electron tubes. We're going to need polished rose quartz. Let's see. Rose quartz. All right. Let's just make some rose quartz. Uh, redstone. Okay, uh, where's my sandpaper? Gonna need another one. I don't have any sand. How do I not have any sand? Oh, that's right. I haven't made my cobble works yet. That's how I don't have sand. All right. It is fine, though, because I can just do that. All right. All right, let's, uh... Oh, wait! I don't... I didn't need that sandpaper, actually. I didn't need that sandpaper because I just remembered I made a recipe where you can enrich rose quartz to make polished rose quartz. I totally forgot I added this recipe. I am smart. I totally forgot I added that recipe just because create uh, just because create crafts and additions adds this recipe. But I'm not really a huge fan of create crafts and additions, so. I just made a sandpaper for no reason. Uh, hold on. Wasn't there like a... Uh, wasn't there like a grinder or something from Cyclic? Uncrafting grinder. It's crystallized obsidian. Oh, this is gonna need chorus fruit or a wither rose. Okay. Uh, and yes, I know. Uh, this will look up and reverse any vanilla 2x2 two two or 3x3 three three recipe. Mong packs and config files can disable many items from going through this. If all slots remain full, items may be lost with future transactions. A lot of packs disable this anyway, so, you know. It's fine. All right, let's see. So, uh, elect uh, hold on. Crafter. So, electron tube needs redstone torches. So, seven of these. All right. What? Hold on. Use. No, recipe. Recipe. Do I not have any iron? Dude. That is embarrassing. Okay. That is super embarrassing. I thought I, uh, thought I had enough. I thought I had enough iron for this, but apparently not. There we go. I'll just put that sandpaper away for the moment. And let's see. Uh, hold on. Crafter. 
How many cogwheels do I have? 10. Okay, not enough. Uh, give me just a second. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make some more. Okay, I think I have everything in order to make 21 of these. Yes, I do. Look at that. I'm going to need uh, I'm going to need another cogwheel though, so that way I can connect that up. I should probably go to sleep before this. Even even though wait, even though I don't have mobs spawning near my base, I should probably sleep through the night. So we have a vertical gearbox here. Oh yeah, we can do this, no problem. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can totally, I can set this up like no problem. So we are gonna need furnace engine. It will be a three by three. Flywheel will be this odd shape. So let's do automated assembly. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, so let's grab a barrel. And we're going to need to get all the things that we need for this. So let's see. Flywheel. We're going to need eight brass ingots and a brass casing. So let's see. Brass. So we have a brass casing. We're going to need eight brass. And then this is going to need brass casing, two brass ingots, five brass sheets, and a piston. All right. So altogether, we're going to need eight plus seven, 15. Okay, zinc. One second, everyone. All righty, I think I have everything I need. Uh, I just need to—I just need to get this barrel placed here. What the heck? Why do I hear? Is it—is it this stuff making the railroad sound? Hmm. Or yeah, the rail sound. All right, that's interesting, but eh, whatever. All right, let's just make sure this is all going to the same spot. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get crafting. So we're gonna need brass and brass casing. And I also grabbed a button because this won't start if uh, not everything is full. So we're going to do this to force the start. I really do. I really do like the. Uh, um, I really do like the mechanical crafters just doing their job. Like this is, this is cool. I'm just saying. It's cool just seeing the mechanical crafters do this. There's our flywheel. And the, uh, I'll ponder this in a second. Uh, for now, let's do the furnace engine. So let's see. That'd be that, and then these brass ingots, piston, boom. Dude. Why is it so cool just seeing it, just seeing the mechanical crafters do the thing? Like I I actually really like this. Just Oh, this is so cool. Alright. And we have the furnace engine. We'll go ahead and ponder this. Furnace engines generate rotational force while their attached furnace is running. Yeah. The provided rotational force has a very large stress capacity. Uh, keep in mind, this, uh, the furnace engine isn't in uh, isn't in newer versions of Create. Using a blast furnace will double the efficiency. Yeah. So, uh, so the, uh, so, unfortunately, uh, so unfortunately, the bla uh, uh, the furnace engine isn't in Create uh, version zero point five. This is only in Create uh, for one sixteen or earlier versions of 118. So, yeah. You won't be able to use this in, you won't be able to use this in version 118. Er, you won't be able to use this in Minecraft 118 or 119 for that for that fact, but uh, it's fine. So now let's empty out my inventory. My inventory is uber full. All right. Uh, oh wait, I need that lever. Um, Lever, I need that. Let's go ahead and put let's go ahead and put the gear die back in here. And now we have a very large stress capacity, but we uh, but I am going to want uh, how about 
let's see, rotational. Huh? Hold on. Speed controller. Oh, it's a rotation speed controller. Okay, so precision mechanism. So we're going to need a gold plate with cog wheel, large cog wheel, iron nugget. All right. I am absolutely going to want to automate the create uh, the the create sequence assembly stuff as well. So, yeah. Let's uh let's go ahead and get everything I need. Uh cog wheel. I have enough cog wheels. I don't have enough large cog wheels. So we get six of them by doing the uh, the sequence assembly. All right, uh, hold on. Do I have any antisite out of the way? I don't have any antisite. It must all be my pocket storage. Yes, it is. All right, uh, give me just one second. Okay, I think I have everything I need to make the precision mechanism. So let's go ahead and put cogwheels in. I think it's cogwheels first, right? Yeah, cogwheel, large iron. Got it. Let's do it. Cogwheel, large iron. Okay. Cogwheel. Large. Iron. Cogwheel. Large. Iron. Cogwheel. Large. Iron. Cogwheel, large, iron. Then we should be done. There we go. End of beta, com complex curiosities. Oh. Expect more content here in the future. Yeah, uh, create is still being updated, as you guys probably know. But yeah, precision mechanism. That's good to go. Rotation. Speed controller. So we're gonna need a brass casing. That's uh, two brass sheets and six wood planks. Okay. Uh, oak. Here we go. Um, brass. Zinc. Hopper. Wait, I really only need one of these. All right. All right uh, so I mean, I mean, it's really, it's really quick and easy to make brass. So let's just, I can do it really quickly. So, boom and boom. Like you can literally skip the step with the blaze burner because I, uh, because I have thermal in this pack. So yeah. Oh wait, these need to be, these need to be plates as well. So let's just, yeah, I'm gonna need a multi-server press those. Technically, I could just uh, technically I just put that in the uh, under the mechanical press, but it is fine. Don't worry about it. All right, brass sheets check. All right. So let's see. It was right brass casing, and then hold on. Uh, Oh, that's right. Uh, rotation. There we go. One rotation speed controller. And I'm going to need this large cog wheel. So the way this works, engineers hate him. <laughs> place the rotation speed controller, the ultimate device for changing gear. But yeah. So you place a, you place a large cog wheel in there and you can scroll. Uh, you could scroll this up to up to 256 RPM. And uh, any rotation that pipes in here will just be converted to 256 with this. You can also shift scroll to adjust it one RPM at a time. You can also make it. You can also also make it uh, reverse direction by changing it to negative 256. So if you if you need it to be a specific direction, you can uh, you can have it go to 50, negative 256 or positive 256. So you know. Give me this stuff so that way I can set this up. All right. So technically, technically I can use the rotation speed controller here to uh, to make everything faster. Yeah, technically I can do that here, 
but I'm thinking I may do that with the cobble works. So we need, oh yeah, I wanted to do infinite andesite alloy. Uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I wanted to do infinite andesite alloy because that's a, uh, you know, it's pretty useful. So, yeah, we're good. Uh, so if I wanted to do infinite andesite alloy, I would need, I would need a cobble gen, which is where the pist, uh, which is where the, uh, uh, that would uh, that would be where the pedestals upgrade comes into play. Uh, that would be where the pedestals cobble gen upgrade comes into play, just because, uh, yeah, let's see, cobble gen. Yeah, cobble generator upgrade. Yeah, and we've used this before. I'm using this for three different stones right now, and technically you can use this for a bunch of more uh, a bunch more things. Blackstone, ice. Uh, I'm using it for basalt. Uh, you can use it for endstone once you get a purple block, which you know, easy enough. Yeah, there's all, uh, with silk touch you can also get different things. Um, Packed ice, if you if you have a uh, silk touch on blue ice with the pedestal, so yeah. In fact, that might actually be a good idea, but uh, we'll we'll deal with that in a second. So yeah, we're gonna need, uh, I'm gonna need to uh, I'm gonna need to think about how I want to do the uh, the. Uh, oh, I also might want to figure out if the if uh, if what I want to do for this will work with the sixteen three eighty four. From the furnace engine, because I think this provides sixteen three eighty four, if I remember correctly. I should probably also get my furnace. Where are my furnaces? Did I use all of them? I must have used all of them. Yeah, but I have one now. So, all right. So, oh yeah, this. This thing has been running this whole time as well. I should, uh, okay, give me one second. I'm gonna go ahead and clip the grass in these rooms. Okay, so uh, just to help me visualize, I am in a test world right now. I'm going to figure out like, okay, so how how is this gonna work? Uh, okay, so I should probably also take a look at, uh, I should probably also take a look at the stress units uh, used. Okay, so the creative motor, let's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get my calculator out really quickly. Was it calculator? So, and so the creative motor does four one nine four three zero four, and remaining capacity on this network is uh let's see so minus four one eight four five seven four. That is well within the range of one of these, oh wait, that is well within the range of one rotation. That is well within the range of a furnace engine. That is 9,730 stress units if you're counting at home. So the way I want this to work, I want this to pump, uh, I want this to pipe the cobble out of the pedestal using a brass funnel, which is uh, extracting 16 at a time. Theoretically, I can have this going faster. So we're going to want this to go into crushing wheels. And then and then this will go into a brass tunnel, which is splitting them over to the right into a, into a basin. And then forward into, uh, into a washing fan setup. So, yeah, we could do... Uh, so I'm going to want to have... Uh, I'm going to want to have the fan slowed down to a crawl... Like quite literally to a crawl. This is only running at one RPM, and it's only using two stress units because fans. Oh wait, fans. Okay, let me think. Fans. They process at the same speed no matter how much rotation you give them. So, uh, so if you have them slowed down to a crawl, it'll uh, it'll process just as fast. So there's really no point. So, uh, so it'll, uh, the gravel will stop here at this brass tunnel. It, this is filtered to not accept gravel. And then, uh, and then the products will come out here. So flint will go towards going to uh, make andesite. Iron nuggets will go towards the actual andesite alloy. You know, easy peasy stuff. 
and this isn't flawless. Uh, this design is not flawless. Like, uh, uh, like, I mean, you could pipe down, but eh, you don't really need to. Right? Yeah, you could do the conveyor belt down, but you really don't need to. In fact, it's probably encouraged that you don't. But, uh, yeah. This is the basic design of uh, Andesite Alloy that I've figured out works for me, anyway. So, yeah. Alright, uh, I guess maybe just give me a second while I figure out, like, what all I need. Oh yeah, the creative fluid tank here uh, of lava is to simulate having the, uh, having the, uh, the pump of lava from the, uh, from the nether, so... I'll obviously be using an ender tank of uh, of lava here instead of a creative fluid tank. So yeah. You know what? I just decided I'm I'm probably just gonna do it on the fly and see if I can remember what I need to do. But I'm probably gonna do that next time because we've been going for a little bit and uh, yeah. I mean some of, some of it was just like getting up to the point where I could uh, where I could like make the cobble works. So you know. Alrighty, guys, I think that'll do it for this episode of Kirby's Modern Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed getting started with immersive engineering, kind of, and getting some, uh, getting some of the uh, intermediary stuff uh, ready for the Create Cobble Works. Stay tuned next time. Well, actually, the Andesite Alloy thing. <clears throat> Stay tuned next time. We're going to make the Infinite Andesite Alloy farm. I think that might be the right word, but uh, I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Later. Oh,